Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. How you doing? New video from me, Alexander Hilly. One, two, three. And today we're going to be playing The Sims on the PlayStation Two. This is an, um, a game in the classics um, playlist that I'm doing, but it damn well could be. Everyone knows The Sims, obviously one of the most popular, famous games of all time. Um, I haven't played The Sims Three. I know it's console based now. Um, that's what I was always screaming out for. Of course, this is on the PS2, but for me, the console version has never... On no version, I don't know, it's just the graphics, the music, everything about that first game and all the expansion packs was just great. Not a game for everyone, um, but for the right person, <laughs> really cool. There is a way of just... You can get a life, as it says there. You've got to, like... You know, you start up in your mum's house, um, and you're a bum, you're a fuckwit and everything, but you, I can't be asked looking on the internet now, but there's a way you can just do the normal kind of free mode, that's what it's called. Um, I haven't played this in absolutely ages. Can you see that? Can you see the family name? It's the anuses, ladies and gentlemen. Um, and it's the dad of the family, hurry! Well, what can I say? I always make my sim after me, kind of. <laughs> really boring. Um, but I do not like to... If you make your sim outgoing, it's going to be a lot harder for you to control them. Um, how many? There's ten like, little ticks there if you will, 10 boxes. For me, I'd say I'm very, very messy. I'd say two on messy, three on shy, very lazy. Ah, this is the ultimate contradiction with me. Halfway playful and serious. And you know what? I'm a hell of a guy. I'm a nice fucker, I tell you that. But we've still got loads of points remaining, so I'm going to just make myself kind and neat. I always, my star sign always comes out as cancer usually. Fuck it, let's just do that. I always take it too seriously. Not played this game in absolutely years. Um, make him a fat bloater. In. Is that. There you go, pink. Um, but yeah, for me. Sims 2 and 3, supposedly, they've all got, like, pop music, you know, in the buy and build mode and everything. That first game, the music, I listened to the soundtrack on YouTube, actually, and I tell you what, the nostalgia is almost overwhelming, ladies and gentlemen. I won't lie, I had a lump in my throat, and I don't know if there's something wrong with me, but... No, I just, you know, remember playing it, remember Rosebud? Oh, goodness gracious me. There you go. Mr. Hurrianus. Oh, this isn't the family mode, is it? <laughs> this is my character. Holy shit, he does need to get out of his mum's basement. There's no doubt about that. So now I can't make a full family. But yeah, giving yourselves loads of money, starting in a huge mansion. Remember the default characters as well from the game. Um, the newbies. The Mortimers. Goth Mortimer, I think it was. The Goths, I can't remember. Um, but I remember those motherfuckers making friends with them and then trying to smash one. <laughs> Not Bob Newbin, no. Trying to smash his wife, though. Loving it! Congratulations, you created your first sim. Spend a couple minutes getting to know them and their surroundings. Move the cursor over objects and press the X button to make sims use them. But of course, this is a dream, ladies and gentlemen. You've got the little uh, pad, you know, the control pad there at the bottom. Press down, you see his personality, his name, his star sign, whatever. Um, click the right button, you get relationships. This is a fake bird. He's dreamt up. Crazy more thought. Press the up button, you see all the things that you need to do to keep him happy and all that shizzle. 
and you press left and you see that he's an unemployed bum with absolutely no skills whatsoever. I'll jump in the queue, mofo! Join this slag in the hot tub. Actually, I might give this game a serious play, actually. <laughs> Don't think I ever got to like the full Doc Off mansion, because the hardest part of this game, and I'm sure everyone will agree, is keeping friends whilst keeping the job, because you've got to have a day off work and then smash everything off perfectly. And I don't think they quite got it down to a T. I don't think they perfected that in any game in The Sims. Like I said, though, I've not played the third game. If it's on console and it's less than a tenner, I don't see why I wouldn't. But the first game, so much outrageous nostalgia. Um, not only, you know, dressing your sim and making them look ridiculous or silly or whatever or base them on yourself or celebrities or friends whatever um just the silly items you can put in your house and random items the burglars as well <laughs> come on we all shit bricks when we got a burglar and they nicked the widescreen fucking tv they had to go for the widescreen ladies and gentlemen and here we are in mother's bungalow. You press R1, you can skip time. I think there's some goals here. Borrow $800 from mom. Where the hell does that gold digging bitch got that money from? Fix the TV, cook dinner without starting a fire. So the first thing you want to do here, ladies and gentlemen, this isn't really a playthrough. I'm just playing the video for 10, 15 minutes. That's what I do on my channel. And I never really make a video of a second game, the same game, sorry. Um, study cooking and mechanical quickly whilst he's quite happy. This will take a good four or five hours, I guess. Master Chef in the making. There we go. No study mechanical. Very realistic, the Sims, isn't it, ladies and gentlemen? And now we will do this. He will get pepped. He will get his head pecked when he uh, tries to do this. It does take time. Oh, goodness me. Oh, I've never, never seen that. <laughs> Mommy's not happy. Look at that, the dirty bitch. Left that on the floor. That's absolutely criminal. Come on, get that telefix. Hurry. <laughs> I mean, if you give your sim personality very outgoing, um, not nice or whatever, and stuff like that, you're going to make the game a lot harder for yourself, but, you know, you'll make your path differently, you know. Oh, we've got the vanity mirror. And it's time. Oh, I don't believe it. She's on the bloody bog. Silly bitch. All right, clean up a mess. As I said, this game is not for everyone. Um, I can see it being so boring for some people, but especially when they're younger, just leading these people's lives it made me lol. And uh... and flush it, you dirty sod. Have a snack. Watch how much the snack. Increases the hunger. They get so hungry, Sims. It's ludicrous, man. What's wrong with him? <laughs> yeah, that's Sally Watch, son. Of course, free mode, you know, it's all... You can do what you want and everything, but this is mapped out with goals. They also did the Sims busting out for the original PlayStation... Uh, sorry, for the PlayStation 2 as well. And that was a fun game. I've got to admit, I do not know where it is. I probably lent it to someone. I've never seen it again. But that is a fun game. And obviously, if you've never played it, the title um, you know, it is what it is. Busting out. It's like venturing out and out of the house and into other places. That was a cool game as well. Got Sims 2. Barely ever played it on my old PC because it was such a huge game graphically. Um...
not played on this game for about three or four years at the very least. But it's fun, it's a good time waster and it's just good to relax to and have a laugh with really. Um, and after you move out of your mum's uh, house. There are like different houses when you move out of your mum's house and you make new friends and all that shizzle. But now he's going to find a job. Ah! It's easy to find a job, pal. Come on, fella, this is 2003, not 2011. There are actually jobs out there. Come on. What's he doing? On um, options, free will, you will be wanting to take that off. Especially when your sim tries to cook dinner at 3 o'clock in the fucking morning. What a douchebag. Cook dinner for the first time, you've got the Euromaster with a puff gold. Fair dues! Get that hunger up. I can't believe her, she's just a filthy animal, I tell you. It's uh, it's annoyingly addictive though this game, isn't it? You know what I mean? Just trying to keep them happy and everything. That's what addicted me from that age. You know, trying to keep it all green. Let's just try and borrow some money. It does take time, you know, with that eight hundred dollars. I don't know how much she gave us though, but I'm going to guess it's a hundred dollars. Um, just thinking. Oh yeah, he's going to be sleeping on the couch unless he's going to be sleeping with his mum. Just fella probably does to be honest with you. What on earth is he crying about? Turn the bloody telly off, son. And now he's going to nap. She's cooking again. Jesus Christ, she's going to have the shits, that woman. I'm telling you that. You can actually control his mum as well, I forgot to say. And look how happy she is. They don't quite look related, these two. I don't know if it's just me. But yes, The Sims. A classic game, even though this is not in the classic section. And uh, thank you for watching, ladies and gentlemen. And I'll see you soon.